Welcome everyone to Freelancer Aftermath. Yes, this is no clickbait. Even though I know you guys are probably like, yo, Snake, it, it says Freelancer, man. It clearly says Freelancer. Where is Aftermath? There's no title. I get it. I, I get it. Okay. So, this is an alpha. Uh, kind of an alpha. Not really alpha. It's like, you know, um, it's more like the... Uh, people that are part of the team uh, are getting to test out these things uh, and they have a test server running which is private obviously but uh they told me i'm allowed to finally show you guys you know a little bit of insight here so let's just jump right into it okay so i i have a i made a character i'll, I'll start new for you guys i'll start new it's not like I really went far, but okay. So what you can do right out off the bat, as you can see, uh, character create creation, right? You have you can choose it instead of remember some mods had like you know slash restart. You can actually choose your starting point now directly from the ca character creation box. And for now, since this is, an, this is kind of an alpha, like pre-alpha even, this is like pre-alpha, um, you have Liberty and Rhineland as a starting point. Uh, Liberty Navy, Liberty Police, Rhineland Military and Rhineland Police. So, now I would actually like to start from Liberty, however, um, dude, I'm a Rhineland guy, dude. Just saying, Rhineland Kusari, my favorite two houses. So, I will probably go with Rhineland Police here, okay? So, uh, let's say, so, the universe is based around your character, right? I mean, that's what I can tell, from what I can tell. So, uh, just to show you how a roleplay character looks like, is, um, you can go with whatever name, that doesn't matter. I'm just saying, if you want to participate in a roleplay thing, you would go for a name, so let's say, Hunt Oigen there. Yes, that's good. All right, Banshee in New Berlin. So the Banshee is a Rhineland light fighter. Now I know some people that already saw me in Discovery Crossfire. And I don't know which freelancer mods I've been playing. They're like, dude, we already know this shit. Stop telling us what the fuck these ships are. But you know, there are new people that are watching here, so I just want to show them. You know, showcase them. The Banshee is a Rhineland fighter, a light fighter even. And now I'm not sure. Doesn't say it doesn't say it on the description. I don't see anything, but it says here in light fighter. Okay, so this is the vanilla ship, right? So far, I can tell nothing has changed here yet. So if you guys have watched the uh, aftermath balance uh, stream, which by the way you can check out on aftermath GC YouTube. Just check for Aftermath GC. There are uh, three parts of the whole balance uh, dev uh, stream. So you can watch there what has been changed, etc. I will go into it slowly, but I, I might miss something out, you know. So I don't want you guys to, you know, get like false information. But this is interesting. You must be level 16. I just realized something. I can't play Rhineland. So welcome everyone to Freelancer Aftermath. <laughs> yeah, I, I did an oopsies from my side, okay? Sorry for that. I remember Rhineland because you guys will get a you, you guys will get another stream soon. And I don't want to spoil anything, so I can't show you much. Uh this is well we'll start with Liberty Police, okay? Let's rewind that. And let's start here, okay? Alright, so... Liberty Police, uh, I don't know... Fucking... Joe... Joe... Hail, John Hale, Joe Hale, okay? So, alright, this is our character. We're just gonna start in New York. Patriot. 
So I don't know how much you guys have already seen, but like, uh, there has been talks that the 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 characters, you know, the whole reputation system, etc. This was this will all evolve evolve around your character. So it's not like you have multiple ships as in multiple characters, but like you have one character and multiple ships, right? So you can play this one character. You can call him Joe kick-ass, badass, whatever, and then you can just buy all the ships you want, you know, transport, fighter, battleship, whatever, depending on your reputation. And, uh, so there won't be a need for, you know, Joe Hale 1, Joe Hale 2, Joe Hale 3, you know, stupid shit we used to, you know, we are used to from other mods, so, you know, which is a really cool feature. So, so we have the Patriot. Okay. Patriot is a Liberty Light Fighter, and uh, I'm gonna stick with that. We apparently, Raiders are not fully balanced yet, so we're gonna stick to fighters and grab a couple guns. As I can see now, we have two oh, yeah, you might have seen this one disruptor, one cruise disruptor, one disruptor that has a, that has a tor torpedo slot. So, again, watch the uh, balance stream. Um, video to see why these ships have this now, you know, it's, it's actually really cool so, Alright, let me get let me let me grab like one of these guns yeah, for justice mark 2 no. no. Or justice mark 2s. I don't want to overdo it. So So need a light fighter shield advanced light fighter. So what I realized hold on What I realized the re region rate in this game of the shields are like really slow so like you have to pick a proper shield if you want like faster regen or like slow regen so i'll go i had an advanced sentry yesterday so i'll go with a class one just to balance some things out okay also nanobots <sighs> ah i can't buy anything else well i, I think i should have enough to you know do, do a couple of missions so this is I'm, I'm actually going through uh how a regular player that plays freelance for the first time actually goes through that's also like the campaign slowly gets you into this type of thing so that's where you will mostly start so this is interesting i i've i haven't seen this what is it? so we have one commodity so we got the commodities which uh, once we get the freighters in properly, I can show you, like, you know, trading and courier type of stuff. So Hi. what is this? Something I can help you with? Hey, what you got? First visit, eh? That's Trent's voice. Yep. Oh, well, I work for Cryer Pharmaceuticals. We don't really run this place, but we have an understanding with the people who do. You know, your rep could use a little fixing for a... So what does that mean? Was that always like that? Like, was that always vanilla? Because I, I don't remember. I think. I was, that, was was it that if you have corporations, you have to go to the cargo hold for Greetings. bribery? Which is actually interesting. I, I I don't remember that it was like that. You always had to go to the bar. That's what I remember, you know. So, but I, I think but the bar is just for uh, Gera Technologies, Deep Space Engineering. Not really. Those are Not all corporations. Ishiro Technologies. Fucking... Okay. <sighs> I'm a bit confused here. Alright, so... Missions. News. So let's say you go for news, like... Famous Manhattan all artist kids now. I would actually like to read all of this, but... We'll, we'll get back to that in another day. Okay. Maybe in a stream. All right, so you start on, you got your ship, right? So instead of missions, you might actually want to try, like, hey, look at that. Let's go to space, right? Let's see how this game performs. How is how is this game? What is this game? What is this game? What is? Okay, you know what I mean. So, New York system, Liberty Space. This is Planet Manhattan, Liberty's capital. 
which is in the center of Sirius Sector. And as you can see already, you can see the other houses. Bretonia, Rhineland, Kusari, Liberty. So if you have watched Freelancer Vanilla intro, you can see the sleeper ships. You know, the Liberty, Rhineland, Kusari, Bretonia, and Hispania launching from Seoul to Sirius uh, while they're in the midst of a Seoul war between like the coalition and the alliance okay yeah by the way this goes all the way back to star lancer if you want to experience that war if you want to see what that war was about you can get uh star lancer so it's literal, literally freelancer's predecessor play that just to get to know what happened in seoul and then you have the aftermath best joke ever uh which is freelancer so and Aftermath plays like 15 or 50 years late, uh, after the Nomad War. If you haven't played the campaign, you probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Right, you want to ch check out the guns, right? You're like, what the fuck? What are these guns? So, one thing you might have seen in the balance stream is banking. The ships are moving really quick. Right? And they, they, they're doing this rolling uh, mid when you go right and left. Also, let me put that on full screen because I'm like going at the edge of the screen <clears throat> right which is mostly used for dodging and shit you know you can engine kill etc so what is new you can cruise cruise engine cruise charge which is for uh long range travel right so you can go with 300 speed but now on the vanilla if you put press engine kill it would like you know uh, drift in space and you could just you know turn but here you can't it stops you what you have to do is you have to press the shit again so that it stops from cruise now you may ask why so uh, a lot of issues we have seen in uh, discovery or like crossfire whatever that that or whatever mod that had capital ships, right? Is that they just they just did this, cruise speed, uh, engine kill, and then s slow mouse scroll thing, and then engine kill again, and you would go like with 300 speed while your energy is filling, so you could like actually catch up to the uh, other capital ship and just you know blow his ass up. So you can't really you weren't able to unless you had people that had CD next to you so that they could like cruise disrupt them you uh you couldn't escape from the player that was you know cruising up to you which was actually really bad so now all you have is this now the thing is this thing this uh, cruise drifting is actually known it's kind of like a bug if i remember is if you press engine kill and strafe to the left or right um it would do that but you have to stay on now it's just uh, engine kill and it does that automatically so instead of um, stopping here you're like well dude I don't want to stop you just uh, go to and free free flight again so like you know let's say you stop uh, that's actually funny you could be like oh hey hello sir what what's up you know you talk with a player blah 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 okay all right I'm, I'm, I'm gone bam you don't even have to stop you don't have to recharge or some shit okay uh, I like it, I and mean, some people won't like it, but... Okay, so you're like here, okay, you saw the ship. You saw how, how the controls work. You know, there are uh, nano pots, shield batteries to refill your, you know, as you can see the bar, player shield says, player ship all health. And, um, of course, you will have also ammo here displayed. So, yeah, once you, once you got used to that, you're like, well, all right, well, what happens? If I'm just, you know, if I just feel like killing someone. So you're like shooting this dude, right? Which is an NPC. Saw that? Police. Police and court. You can also hail them. Colorado C system is up here. We will move there. And you can see from where they actually came from, etc. Yeah, so you can hail them. Alright, okay, we'll, we'll get back to the fucking planet 
and look for jobs. Another thing is, if you may have realized, you can't talk on Moors anymore. Like, the, the quick talk fucking that some mods had, it's not in Aftermath. Unless you're a capital ship or like you're a bigger ship. Now, I'm not sure if you can still quick talk though, but you have to use the Moor. But you can't use the Moor as a fighter anymore, or like a freighter. So all those have to use regular docking sequences, procedures, whatever they have to do. So you're like, all right, dude, let's, you know, we, we need money, obviously, um, to buy some new shit. So let's go to the job bar, because you can't afford a freighter yet. <laughs> Actually, we could have, but you know what I mean? Uh, so you we go for jobs. So you have uh, individual jobs and you have public jobs. Individual jobs as in, you know, they have the special jobs in here. And you have these job boards where you can just get missions. They're, they're, they're just randomly, uh, you know, on, on each, um, what was it, dock landing, it actually changes the job bar, job boards changes. So you get new missions, etc. So you have like different types of missions. So you have, this mission, this mission type is kill ships. So you just go there, blast, next waypoint, blast, next waypoint. I, I will show that in a bit. And this one is like a destroy contraband. You kill a, you kill the target, it'll, it'll drop a cargo, you destroy that cargo and bam, you're out. This is tractor loot, which means you kill a target, grab the loot, bring it back to the planet, and your mission is done, you get paid. And you have bigger, you know, destroy installations. You can go uh, destroy enemy hideouts or like bases, depending on what kind of mission this is. There's also a kill uh, single target mission that isn't here right now, which is like you have one person uh, you have to kill. And once you just kill that person, which is maybe like a leader of them or of a squadron, whatever, and you kill it, you're done. Your job is done. You don't even have to kill the whole squadron. You just have to kill their leader, okay? So let me check just for individual... Hello. Is uh, there anything I can... Missions here. Difficulty 2. We have a word that the number of Liberty Rogue ships have just been identified. You are to fly the third system, Asteroid 1, and engage them at once. Eliminate all hostile ships. Meanwhile, give... Eliminate all... You can... Like, they, these missions are not portraying what kind of missions they are. You have to actually figure it out while you're reading the text. That says eliminate all hostile ships. That already says this is a kill ships, kill all ships <clears throat> missions. All right, we don't want to do that. Difficulty nine, as you can all see, kind of difficult, but the higher reward, of course, higher difficulty, more reward. A group of Liberty ships have been spotted. We think they are still where they were last seen. This is a simple house cleaning mission. Get out there and uh, make the area safe again. In case you want to, okay, see again, again a kill ships mission. A group of low business, we think they are still in Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh where they were last seen. House clean is the same. But I just want to see what is the biggest one right now. 5,300. 5,500. So this one gives me the biggest reward. Kill all Liberty Shop rogue ships near the mission waypoint. So you start. Bam! Launch, you can actually press S and it'll just go. And here you can see the mission briefing. Objective, dock with the market trade lane to reach the enemy ships, which is this, 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 right? It's here, this area. Objective 2, kill all Liberty Rogue ships near the waypoint. This would be number 2 waypoint. And you can read this thing again, you can abort it. Which, but this might actually, you know, damage your reputation, so you have to be sure, you know. Do, you, do I want to abort it or not? So, continue. Let's go. And it will... A waypoint will pop up. Go to the enemy ships by docking one. See that? Bam. Shows you where you have to go. And you can pull the mission up again. Once you, you get the maps, nav map up. You can read kill ships. Go to the enemy ships by docking. You can still read your mission type, okay? So, if you ask, is there a way to have multiple missions? Uh, not confirmed yet. So... I wouldn't know if if it's a plan, because uh, playing around with missions is a really pain in the ass. Again, guys, I know some people are like watching that I've been playing, you know, freelance for a decade. 
and uh, they're like, dude, we already know this shit. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm still, I have to explain it for people that have been excited for this mod. As I've seen, like, you know, comments and on my own Discord channel and uh, other Discord channels, some people are actually waiting for Aftermath to drop. So, uh, but they have never played Freelancer before, you know? I, I, I did tell them to, you know, experience it by playing the campaign. I always said, play the campaign first, you know? Get to know the factions, get to know the uh, background a little bit, so you understand what the fuck is going on, right? <clears throat> but anyhow, I will, uh, if, if you decide to jump in, bam, multiplayer. So I'm, I'm trying to get you guys in. These are NPCs, aka AIs. Uh, you can destroy lanes. I mean, just not destroy, but you can disable. And once disabled, the, the person that is actually flying through will uh, drop out of this place. This is mostly for pirates. They're pirating people. Alright. Right now we are neutral to them. Yeah, Boex fighting what? What are they fighting? Agera? No, no, no. I think those were rogues, if I remember. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So as you can see, unlike other mods, your available power doesn't drop when you're on cruise. So, I'm not sure if that stops when I, I actually... Yeah, no, it actually stays there. Kinda like that, I like that. Didn't like the... Uh, Yep, as you can hear, some new sound effects. And they're dropping mines. These are the Liberty Rogues. These are literally uh, Liberty's number one pirate faction. Like literally the Yarhar Fiddle Deep type of pirates. I do. Well, looks like I got uh, assistance. Where are they? Yeah, these are not the best guns I have. There we see, I have police helping me out here. This is not on all missions, but most of the individual ones have actually, you know, NPCs helping you out. By the way, those mission, um, what was it, uh, money, as you saw, 5,000, etc. Uh, those are not final, if I remember correctly. So missions need to be updated, too. The only reason I'm doing... See, bam, I got the money. 5,500. The only reason I'm doing this mission is because, just to show how missions work. So, this was a small, you know, get into and learn. And this is the Colorado Jump Gate. Remember we hailed the NPC before in front of Plan Planet Manhattan? That's where they are coming from, this system. Which we could jump. So I'm gonna show you the jumping mechanic. Okay. Docking on a jump gate, same as docking on a planet. F3. Bam. Now, okay, this is, okay, I, this is a little bit too much. I get it. Dude, what the fuck? They can just read that shit, you know? No shit, obvious. Yeah, okay. I get it. Okay, I won't overdo it. Just to show you. Alright, here we go. So you just jumped into another system, which is north from New York. That is planet... I mean, that is system Colorado. Which is here, as you can see. And once you map those system, it'll pop up on your star, uh, star map. And um, the more you explore, go around, check out bases, etc., the more will show up and you will see them on your map. Now, I didn't see much of a difference at first glance on the systems, but um, there has been a serious rework on all vanilla systems. So, uh, I will try to show you guys. Wait, what the fuck are you attacking? Xenos. I wonder why they are neutral to me. I should, yeah, I should be killing them. Fuck Xenos. Somehow, if you guys remember Vanilla, 
Uh, if you kill Xenos, the, uh, your faction reputation actually goes up with other factions. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know if, if that was uh, intentional, but like everyone hates Xenos. They're really weird. Well, okay, the star flyer is really hard to hit. It's another flight fighter. It's a star. It's a usual civilian star ship. And since you get to choose, you know, Liberty Navy, Liberty Police, whatever, uh, you get their type of star ship, which I actually like. I like this. I like this setup much more. I like this because it feels like you actually restarted as a Liberty Police. You know what I mean? Instead of a fucking civilian ship. I'm just saying. I just want to kill this and we'll move back. And I'm not, I'm not wasting time here. Dude, it's so hard to hit. What the fuck? Fucking star player. Also, I have no anti-shield guns at all, so, you know. And I, I'm not sure if these guns are actually up to date. What the fuck? They do less damage than I expected. I thought the info card is kind of messed up. Um, hold on a second. He's running away. No, kill him. There we go. So, as you may have seen, no optical ships. That's a 98 all damage. I'm not sure if that is actually accurate. So, we'll see. We have Fort Bush here. Baltimore shipyard. Those things are popping up slowly while I'm exploring. You know? kind of worth to explore since Aftermath won't have a you know official map kind of thing if I remember I'm not sure but um, where you can just see and check out like a Wikipedia where you know where everything is you might see where the bases are I'm not sure but uh, you still have to go to those places and just see kind of ships are sold there. Oh, like, what the purpose of this whole thing? So as you may see here, so now this is new to uh, New York, is Alaska Jump Gate trade lane. Because if you want to go to the gate, it is filled with mines. mines. It's, a, it's a minefield. Over there. So what they did is it's a not Navy trade lane ring. Because that means that only Navy personnel can go to Alaska Jump, jump Gate because Alaska is a secret military system. So that's where they maybe build all their ships. I'm not sure. Or just, you know, have all this. It's, it's like a military HQ. Yeah. Naval HQ, whatever. Navy HQ. I'm, I'm a police. I restarted as a police. So I'm not sure if I will be... Okay, apparently I also have access to go there. Now as a civilian though, you won't have access, so... When you try to dock on this straight lane, you can't. You can't, so you want to fly, fly around here. See that? All those minefields? Mines? I'm not sure if there's an opening here at all. Which... I'm actually curious? Uh, I don't think there is an opening, but I might be wrong. But if I remember correctly, there is no opening, so you can't actually get in here as a civilian. So, so I actually feel a little special as a Navy pilot or like as a police pilot, you know what I mean? Battleship Missouri, by the way, has been moved, as I can see. It used to be at Fort Bush. Um, it has been moved to the gate. And is guarding the gate, so to say. And you can dock on it, and if you restart as a navy, you would have restarted here, right in the belly. So we'll just jump to Alaska, see what happens. Check Alaska. <clears throat> this is the Alaska system, guys. Liberty space. Really special. Really special type of rocks, as I don't know what the fuck those are. Alright, we can go to the prison station. What was it called? Mitchell. So, I, I guess if, if you're uh, killing a couple unlawfuls and you get their, you know, pilot 
uh, tractored into your cargo hold, you can bring them to the prison stations and they actually pay you well. If I remember, that's how it worked. Not sure. Yeah, I guess it is that. Yeah. You just bring him to the prison station. Uh, oh, I'm not station. Bring him to the prison station. And, um, again, no quick talks. You have to also, let me see. By the way, we have put the details high up. As you can see, really nice. Well, at least here, really nice details. Nice textures. Joe Hale. Bam, I came here. I'm a fucking police officer. I got dudes on my cargo hold. Do, do I do? I don't, I don't think I do. Optical chips, fuck. Okay. But you can check it for, you know, uh, equipment and shit. Also, you can now here, inventory. This is where the commodity trader is. Um, trading, right? If some of you don't know. Here, it will show you um, all the visited bases, planets. And the more you visit, the more uh, price sell, sell places you get. So it's actually worth docking on every base and just to see what kind of, you know, what the best price is. This is, uh, this is another cool shit with the, uh, the universe built around your character. Because now you are not flying five different characters. But like one character and everything you explored is on that character. You know, so you can uh, play as a transport now instead of a fighter. And you still have all that marked with your reputation. It makes uh, exploring actually worth now. Instead of, you know. Okay, let's sell these. Let's go to equipment. See, we, we got damaged. We can ship, repair our ship. Drone Repair mine. Hey, we got a, we got a, we got a free mine. Bam. Ah, uh, these do 750. By the way, I'm not sure how this works in Ethnot, but like in Vanilla, you, if you, you want to look that you're close to this projectile speed so that your crosshair isn't messed up. So these are 750. So I, I will actually mount one of these. buy drone mines we don't want that yet so let's go for or too many players right too many players a lot of players dude what the fuck mostly navy flying around here and probably lsf LSF is the Liberty Security Force, which is the intelligence faction of um, Liberty. We are Liberty Police, so it, this is your reputation list. That's weird. I started as a Liberty Corporate. What the fuck? Why would that be neutral? Well, whatever. Uh, oh, I guess. Okay. I mean, you still start as a zero rep hack so you have to move a uh, farm farm reputation so to say and move on and um you know level up and shit get these things you know good or bad or whatever uh however you want to mess up your reputation i actually like that okay you actually start from zero and okay all right this is the juno shipyard navy shipyard as you can see here this is a Liberty Battleship, by the way. Liberty Dreadnought? I'm not sure if it's a Dreadnought or a Battleship class in Vanilla. I'm not sure. I forgot. But yeah. And I just want to see. I just want to dock here and see what we have. Like I told you, it's good to dock everywhere. And maybe I can actually show you the list. Because you only saw one cell point, which looked you know, might have looked weird. Let me see. Yeah, see? Juno Shipyard, Planet Manhattan. It only shows the places you actually docked in. So you started from zero. That's actually cool. Okay. So you don't get a pass on, oh, I restarted in Liberty, so I have all the bases, uh, you know, 
uh, located and like uh, on my map. No, you, you actually start from zero. It, it, no, no matter where you start, and you you have to just explore all those places. That's why it's built around your character. That's why you can have multiple ships on your character, which they will show in one of the streams. But uh, those that are in the aftermath Discord already saw a couple inside how that looks like. So yeah, okay. It is only those two bases. Cool. I'm gonna see what ships we have here. Wow, no ships. Okay. Guess since we don't have caps in the game yet, as in playable caps, there are no cap ships to buy. What if I could see like a LSF? No, it's all the navy. Also, look at that. Three, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 11 NPCs. This is so... I love when I, when, when this places are crowded and you see the NPCs are actually, you know, part of your whole experience. The more, you know, I like that. Not sure how the server will handle that, but we are not too concerned about that. So, okay. I think I should cut it out here. Just for the first episode, just for the first inside a little bit. Uh, I know some people are like, dude, we want to see more. Yes, you will see more, don't worry. Um, I will do more of these videos. Since now we actually have access, we have a test server up. I'm sorry I can't hand it out, nobody... Um, you know, it's not public yet. The beta will be public. But I will keep you informed. So, um... Hey, what the fuck happened? So, oh yeah, yeah, again, so... What I said in the beginning, this this is kind of, this is kind of a beginner's guide for people that come to, just recently came to Freelancer and heard about this game so Uh So, probably to those wets or like people that have been playing Freelancer for a really long time in other mods there, this episode might have been boring, I get it. But uh, um, I just wanted to start it so for new players and the more we go on, I will get more into juicy details. We will look at the systems, what, I've, what has changed, uh, what kind of, you know, kind of changes we have made, we have added. I will also show you the systems I have developed and uh, we'll have fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, wait, hold on a second, I almost forgot. If you want to check the community out, join the Freelancer Aftermath Discord, which will be on the description below. And see for yourself, ask some questions and see, you know, look how the community is. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.